we're at the airport. So yes, good morning from Hamburg. It is day one of our holiday. If you assume this is the first full day, it's day two if it's the day after we arrived. Um, you've just seen us at the airport and then land at Hamburg. And wow, that was an experience in itself. Obviously, this trip was re uh, reforecast. If you have been here for a while, you may remember that I was due... I, we, me and Mark, were due to go to Hamburg in December, but with the uh, pandemic, we don't say the C word, um, we didn't make it. We had to reschedule our ticket. So it was this weekend. Very, very exciting. And then, of course, in the UK and across lots of Europe, actually, because it's quite stormy here in Hamburg now, the storms started swirling midweek and I was like, oh, we're not going to go. This trip is cursed but we've made it. It was very bumpy. And at one point, the pilot came over the tannoy. We taxied to the runway. We stopped on the edge of the runway and the pilot said, we have to wait here. It's too windy to take off. We, we have enough fuel for 30 minutes before we'll have to go back to the terminal. People started getting up. They were using the toilet. The cabin crew were walking back around. Most people had found their seats again. But all of a sudden, the plane starts moving. There's no one... Like, the cabin crew aren't in their seats. It was all very dramatic. The cabin crew are running down. They realise he's going to go for takeoff. He didn't come over the tannoy. We have to take off now. Or he literally just went for it. And then up we went. It was the bumpiest takeoff I have ever seen. But hats off to Julian from British Airways. Because... He was amazing. So we got here. Yeah. We were an hour late leaving and we only landed half an hour late. Tailwinds. Brilliant. But we're here in Hamburg and this weekend is mostly about sightseeing and holidaying with Mark and seeing Wicked. Um, again, if you're new here, I have a bit of an obsession with the musical Wicked. This will be my 38th time seeing it. Yes, I know. No, I'm not sorry. No, I don't speak German. It is in German, but I've seen it enough that I think I can know what the dialogue is and know what, obviously I can sing the songs along in, in my head in English. It'll all be fine. I'm very excited, but we are going to go and hopefully find some yarn shops. Um, I've got two that I've spotted. One is near the theatre, so I'm going to do that this afternoon on my way to the show. Um, it has just started raining now. Mark has gone out to do some shopping. Um, I was going to find a coffee shop, do a bit of knitting, and then go and find um, a yarn shop that's near the hotel. But it's now raining, so I'm still going. I just need to decide, am I running? I'm not running. Or walking. Um, there we go. Anyway, so this vlog is a not your local yarn shop tour because I'm not local to Hamburg, but I'm hopeful that we will get to squish some wool. I don't know how long the video is going to be. It will be a slightly shorter one. I'll show you the footage of the yarn shops. If I buy anything, I bought a lot of wool last weekend at Unravel. So we'll see. Um, but I hope that you enjoy this video and uh, something a little bit different again from me. So I hope that you enjoy this style of content and I hope that you're all well. And I will, of course, be back at some point now with um, a bit more of an update on the weekend. Let's go. It's still raining and it's really windy. The things I do for this blog, if indeed you can hear this footage. Because I'd rather be sitting in a coffee shop
just popping along, editing the footage together and realised that I didn't wrap up from that first shop. So I had a great time exploring around that shop. Um, it was really interesting to see. And as a comparison from a UK perspective, it was probably like a hobby craft, but better. Um, you saw I did a bit of a, a wide pan of the whole shop and they had loads of arts and craft supplies as well as fabric and, of course, wool. Um, they seemed to... It, I don't think it was exclusive stock in um, Rico or Rico yarns, um, but pretty much most of the yarn was that in all different flavours from fingering sock yarn up to chunky macrame wool. Um, yeah, it was great. And I'd say it was better than Hobbycraft in terms of the range of stock that they had in terms of wool um, and the types, but also the the knit and needle supplies, like you saw there were so many needles and crochet hooks and things. Um, my only caveat on that is um, I know what my local hobby craft is like in Cardiff, and that doesn't have a great range of product. So you might have a hobby craft near you that actually think, no, 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 Martin, mine, that hobby craft is as good as that. Um, then yeah, I, I don't have that that experience. But it was really nice to see that store um, and, you know, perfectly located in the city centre. If you need to nip a link, nip a link, nip along to pick up a needle or something. Um, yeah, really good to have it on the high street. Um, so after that, um, I ended up back at the hotel because I was very wet and very cold. Um, had a quick change before I went to the theatre. And now I'm going to hand you back to future Martin and he's going to tell you all about the next yarn shop. So it stopped raining, I found the yarn shop, and I bought some yarn, obviously. Um, I'll show you what I bought. It's kind of, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It's, um, yeah, it'll probably be a cowl or something. Um, but I bought it and it'll be my Hamburg yarn, and I bought a little pin badge as well, because I love a pin badge. Um, really lovely, lovely shop. I will show my footage of the shop in a moment and then I'll come back and do a bit of a wrap up. But um, because of the Hamburg health regulations, because of coronavirus, um, it's one in, one out of the shop. They are restricting the amount of people that are allowed in at any one time. And they've got a basket, as you saw, and if there's no baskets outside, you're not allowed in. And I wasn't going to buy anything. So I went in to start with without the basket. A lady came out and put the basket down and I just walked in and got told off. I need to have a basket to walk in. So I guess that's how they check the numbers within the shop. But it was a gorgeous shop. And I'll now show you the footage of the shop. And I hope that you enjoy and then I'll be back. And I've got to go now because I'm walking to the theatre and I don't know where I'm going and I need my phone back to the map. Enjoy.
So there we go. That was the amazing My Local Yarn Shop in Hamburg. And honestly, if I lived in Hamburg, I don't think I would ever need to shop online ever again. It had everything, as you saw. And the range of yarn was just amazing. Um, from the final um, bit of footage, you'll have seen the room of Brooklyn Tweed. Like, every Brooklyn Tweed uh, style and weight of yarn and colours. Um, they had some amazing hand-dyed yarns then. You saw hedgehog fibres, um, uh, ching fibres, like, you name it, they had it. And I just think it would... It just covers all your needs. You genuinely wouldn't need to shop online, I don't think. And I love the window display with all those vibrant pinks. It was just so eye-catching. And I'm assuming that the window display cha changes relatively frequently and the colors possibly go in seasons, perhaps. Um, I'm guessing, but that's certainly the, those pinks. Maybe it was a Valentine's Day love theme, but it was just, just amazing. I talked about the um, the one in one out policy. It felt very safe. Um, in Hamburg in general, everyone is adhering to the regulations and has masks on and keeping distance. It was just, it was lovely to go and shop. And as you saw, I squished some yarn. And um, yeah, thank you so much for all of you who made a recommendation and said, oh, you need to go to that shop um, if you're there. So my purchases, I was very refrained, refrained, restrained, whatever. It's early. We're heading to the airport, surely. I'm a little bit tired. Um, and I, I think I had to be um, restrained because of Unravel last week. <laughs> and I bought a lot of yarn and a lot of jumpy yarn. But also, um, and slightly bad planning, because where we were in the holiday. We arrived on the Friday. We're leaving today. It's Tuesday. But the yarn shop was closed Sunday, Monday, I think. So had to try and work out when to go. So it made sense to go Saturday because it was just around the corner from the theatre. And of course, as you know, I've been here to see the musical Wicked, which was amazing in German. Um, but because I was going to the theatre, I then didn't really have um, a lot of room to carry lots of yarn because um, we were then going to go out. Mark was coming to meet me for the evening show and then we were going out um, for drinks and dancing and food. So I didn't want to take all my yarn purchase out. So I, I kind of, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's fine. I don't need any more yarn as if you've been here a while, you know. So what I did buy, and apologies, this is slightly shaky. I don't have my tripod with me, obviously. Um, so I bought a pin badge, which says yarn lover on it. So I just love that. Um, let me just try and balance you. Ah, there we go. I'm balanced. Right. Balanced slash unhinged. So I bought a pin badge. Um, pins by Minnock. So super excited to add that to my um, knitting bag. And my single loan purchase, because I had to buy something so that I could say, I bought something and this is my Hamburg yarn. Um, I bought this fade, which is by uh, Sheeple, Sheeple. And it is a Zauber Perlin. So I think these are the same company that make the Zauber balls, which you get the color change in yarn in. Um, and it's all individual balls which is brilliant and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So answers on a postcard, I've got 100 grams or I did work out the meterage. 100 grams and approximately 400 meters. Um, it recommends needles two to three mil. So yeah, it's going to be sock yarn. Um, I don't really want to make socks. I'm on a bit of a sock thing at the moment. It could be socks. Um, and I could do, I could maybe split these down in half again. So I've got a 50 gram fade and a 50 gram fade. And I could do blue fade socks maybe with contrast heels and toes. I like the idea of some kind of cowl that I can do 
as a fade um, or a hat maybe it's obviously not enough to do a shawl or anything like that but it could be oh it could be if there's like a 200 gram fingering weight shawl like a light shawl it could be paired with a gray perhaps or another cream and we could do a a fade and then when i run out of this i could then just fade into a white that could be a solution yeah answers on a postcard please let me know what you think i'm going to come back over here so you can see in the better natural light there we go so there's the colors i am obsessed with blue and gray <laughs> um so i really like that and that i said that'll be whatever the little project is that gets made with it this will be my handbow project so i'm really pleased with my purchase um, and there we go, that's the end of this video. So as I said at the beginning, I wasn't sure how long this is gonna be. We're probably about the 20, 25 minute mark, um, but very much a not my local yarn shop tour. Um, a little podette where I've taken you around another yarn shop. We've done a few in the UK, so it's lovely to be able to do one here in Hamburg. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing it. If you do ever get an opportunity to come to Hamburg, please, please go and check out my local yarn store. Um, it was brilliant. So thank you so much for all those suggestions. Um, sorry, from all of you who gave me the suggestion to go there. I'm sure there are a couple of other yarn shops around. I didn't get time to go to any others, but two yarn shops and a little yarn purchase is enough for me on a, a wonderful trip away with Mark. Um, he's sitting here on the bed. Say hello. Hi. Patiently waiting for me so we can go and get a taxi to the airport to get our flight home. So there we go. I'm going to edit this footage together in the airport, I think, and then hopefully get it uploaded when I get home later on. So let me know in the comments below what I can do with my yarn. And I hope that you are all well. You know the drill for the end of these videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe, click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but helps me to grow my community. And we are so nearly at 5,000 subscribers. Mind blowing, but I love it. And I love you all being here and how interactive everybody is and appreciate all of your support as always. So I'm going to leave this now. We've got to go and head to the airport. So until we speak again, happy crafting. Happy crafting.